Okay, let me okay, go. Okay, so what kind of a shit hand is that? Did he get all the ones? Yeah, Did he miss it. He's he's, nah. still not, he's still not going to the game. Let me see if I if I'm looking at Hassan's hand. Five <laughs> one up card. <laughs> God damn it! Yeah. And the brilliant four up and a three up. Just, Even more brilliant. Just imagine he's... that now, uh, Thomas <laughs> stands like a. Uh, uh, RSP the opposite of that. No, imagine that he has like RSP and he's like, okay, um, I'm immune to I mean, it, everything is once. <laughs> um, Hassan's best playbook card is a two up, in he, and he has one of those. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, at least he's like, he okay. has a good headline with Nasser. He, okay, yeah, that's something. Uh, Nasser, it's worth maybe for VP at least. Yeah. He's probably so... going to have to play US Japan. Like, I don't think how you. How you play this hand without giving right. US Japan? Oh, you can just paste no red, hold US Japan, and pray or something. Okay, I don't anything. think. I don't think. Oh, you're pray for being purged. Actually, being purged would be <laughs> so fun <laughs> in this. <laughs> I mean, the word of purge is one up from this yeah. hand because Cambridge Five will be a one up card instead of a two up. <laughs> yeah, unless he uses a China card, but other than that. Uh, I mean, he knows it's gonna go to space, right? So US Japan. Yeah, yeah maybe even immediately. Drops. It makes sense. It's not right, right now. This is one of those few few times that you actually play RSP and it does it, it takes less uh, ops than he actually uh, is worth. Oh, definitely. Oh boy. Of course, uh, with even one lucky roll, Hassan will just ha suffer horribly because if he's wiped out of Egypt. Whoa, he can spend an op in Afghanistan. Oh, that's crazy. That's like, I don't know, 20% of his total op quota? How much ops does he have to spend and not to space? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, 20%. So that's rather reckless. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so what's he going to do? Uh, what's his play here? Uh, I mean, cooing. I mean, he could coo, but uh, cooing seems okay. Such a hell Mary play. I would, I would actually go for Afghanistan probably, since you have very few ops. You probably want to like keep the no, no, no. We cannot afford a non battleground with this sham of a hand. I mean, then South put Korea, one maybe? in Libya or or put one in South Korea. If you're feeling lucky, like mean, I mean, Wojciech Pietrzak lucky, you mm -hmm. coo Iran. I mean, okay. Uh, I didn't see the results. Yeah, not much happened. He's not Wojciech Pietrzak. Not a six, yeah. You need a yeah, six. Yeah, not, not you need by a long shot. Pietrzak, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a Pietrzak, this was a Pietrzak play, but it didn't work out. Oh, yeah. And it takes a Pietrzak to do a Pietrzak. Either the original one or the Chinese Pietrzak. The Chinese Pietrzak, the counterfeit. Chinese counterfeit. Yeah. Which is, for some reason, uh, ranked higher than the original. Yeah. Yeah, that's it's probably a, the it's future. A, it's a high quality, high quality counterfeit. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the, Japan used to be known for uh, cheap but uh, popular uh, electronics. Sorry, what's the word? Uh, electronics and even stuff similar to what China delivers last twenty years I mean, in the fifties or the sixties. It's even mentioned in the Back to the Future, oh, one really? of these. Uh, Doc Brown from the past, when Marty goes to see him, sees some tech piece of technology from the future and says, yeah, it's Japanese, of course it's crap. <laughs> that was the going opinion and a justified one, probably, again, yeah. about Japanese electronics. That's funny because now Japanese electronics are looked at like oh, high yeah. quality, right? Like Sony. Uh, Very much so. Yeah. All right. So what is what is on? We don't know what is on Garth. Actually, since we cannot see his hand at all because his internet huh? is not good enough, I'm just gonna look oh, it up. Okay. I'm just gonna... Yeah, we can guess, and it's a lot of good stuff. 
Okay, I'm just gonna leave it on monitor too because he's not even showing, even when he flashes. So I'm just gonna put it on monitor two. And two up. Ah, that must be below average. Okay. For Thomas. So he goes. Okay. Oh come on! Justifying the purge? No. Nah. I think that's ruined that. my mode. I think it's gonna that's be that, that's just mode. one of the one of the ops, right? So okay. he's gonna give two ops. No, oh, no, no, no! Don't cool. You can't cool. Come on, you cannot spend those in Asia other than in South Korea. It's too expensive. <clears throat> what about what about China car coup in Pakistan? That's how nah. it happened. No, I don't believe that. No. Okay, what about? He's I mean, this. do you think he has for that move? Can you do you get the read that he has in the pack because he only put one and just he's inviting the coup there? Mm, yes, that would be a good justification. Uh, this was, by the way, a very modern move, putting just one in Pakistan. I mean, I viewed this game like a duel between a Sanctist and a Theorite of sorts, judging by their first game, but yeah. putting one up in Pakistan at DEFCON 4? Yeah. That's, that's not a move a, a Theorite would make. Unless, well, maybe. I mean, the Pakistani war seems like the only explanation of that. And fueled maybe by the purge as well, which helps to make sure that, well, other than a coup with a four up or China card, it's likely, not likely to work. Okay, a counter for that should be a coup in Lebanon, probably. I guess it's part of the reason why Hassan played it. I mean, only thing this, his cards are good for is cooing a one stop country. Yeah. That's that's the only thing they're good for because <laughs> <laughs> uh probably wanna get rid of that CA created at some point, right? Before Fidel comes out. Yeah, but no rush. Yeah, no rush. I you mean... wanna see the you going wanna show the weakness, right? Oh yeah. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> Not for this hand. <sighs> Still I wonder, I think he might be willing to hold blockade from this hand. Mm, that that uh, doesn't sound like a bad idea. Because no, I would have held US Japan since giving it up sets it for a so easy domination in the, uh, Asia for USA. You probably want to play next turn so you make sure that that this stock goes back to the deck before turn mm -hmm. three. Yes, for blockade, definitely. Yeah. It's uh, practically worthless played against this, probably this hand of Thomas on turn one. It's likely even to help him. He probably, unless he has a D card, of course. Okay, a coup in Lebanon. No. Okay, rest in peace, Hassan. Uh, by the way, why Egypt? Why not Libya? Libya was obviously superior. Yeah, you have Saddam later to save you, Egypt. Exactly. So that was. Uh, well, not the best move, but well, he rolled a six. Okay. What does he have to complain mean, about? If you pull a, a Pietra, you don't need it. You, it doesn't matter. You <laughs> okay, it's better me... to be lucky than good. Of course, it's best to be lucky and good. Yeah, that helps. Okay, space. Now he rolls a six. I'm gonna cool. Oh, come on, Hassan. <sighs> of course. It's very likely that next move by Thomas is Fidel coup of Libya. Okay, I'm writing this down so we can ask them later about that coup into Egypt over uh, Egypt over Libya. Uh, no, maybe he has AR. Yeah. Maybe he has Arab Israeli war. And that's why was he banned it with this hand? No. What? No. Come no, on. Oh, he's walking into France. Is that a thing now? <laughs> no, not with this hand. Not ever. Not with South Korea to untouched. Not with yeah. CIA in hand, which practically prevents going to Algeria unless, well, he uses CIA to do it. It's surprising <laughs> because, right, I would have, well, definitely, uh, 
Thomas wants to draw the DEFCON to save his to access Thailand safely, right? But if he mm. drops the DEFCON, he's gonna have to drop the DEFCON again if he wants to make sure that he doesn't get cool in the AR1. And that's gonna if you do that, then you're opening yourself for a decal play, right? Yes, but he's already in Malaysia. He has to have a high up hand and opponent is purged. Yep. So, okay, I, I assume that Hassan was worried about being uh, per, uh, removed from the region, from Libya, by another lucky coup. And since Thomas is feeling pretty lucky right now, I assume, hmm. he might very well decide that, well, Libya is a good place to try another coup or roll another Pietrzak. Uh, when you get deal this hand, all you can you can all you can do is uh, you know uh, cross yourself and pray that you can get a uh, good rolls because definitely the cards are not on your side. Yeah, and he missed two rolls already, so no. Uh, okay, what happened? Oh, what he allows the event. Okay, so he's just an empty round. Space. Oh. Doesn't this sound like he has a kind of like a red hand? Like he started with two ops huh. instead of slamming like big ops for the coups. So he relies yes. on, on high rolls. And now he's like on AR3 already playing cards that are empty rounds. Sounds like he has a little bit of problems there too. That on yes, the hand department. Still, I can only imagine uh, him having both uh, D cards in hand. Since that's probably the only way this move would make sense, any sense. Yeah, I, 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 th I'm starting to believe on the on the D D goal possibility at least on the hand of um, Thomas. Maybe that's why he's keeping that Defcon at two. He doesn't want to give that. No, no, it has to be both. Otherwise, he would have delayed socialist government probably played yeah, something else. Okay, so we go that little point in South, in South Korea. You were asking for it. You got it. Simawi, he's, he's... Yeah. It's the little point that could. That delivers some value. Other than most of his brethren. Without any cost attached to it. Any meaningful cost, at least. Because that point, that US-Japan will cost Hassan Asia domination. Well, he might be dominated anyway. Of course. But now it's, unless IP war saves him practically a done deal. So I wonder very much about Thomas's hand. What, what did he space? Why didn't he space? Uh... Oh, Nora. Nora well, I ha space. have right. to assume he has decolonization. Uh, you're talking about Hassan or Thomas? Hassan, yeah, Hassan space Nora, right? Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, okay. that yeah. makes sense, sure. Yeah, expect but why wouldn't Thomas wait with socialist governments to space it? Um, only explanation seems to be that he has decal, and he if he would discard to blockade and spaced earlier, well, he would have to play decal. So the modern approach is whoa. He has both, hundred percent. He hundred percent so. has both because otherwise you don't play UM for an event. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, okay, and uh, I guess Hassan read it too. And decided that with this hand he needs to yep. get gonna something out. He's gonna make that this star go to the discard. Unless Thomas is like three thousand IQ 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 in us, and he actually doesn't have it. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean it's guaranteed he has one. I assume he has both. Could be wrong. Okay, uh, that is this star, and he yeah. has basically goal. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Expect. So, he did not uh, an IQ us. It was just a with, normal standard play. Okay, so mm -hmm. now he's he's uh, he's gonna get rid of that. Okay. He's, so I guess that means uh, delayed punishment damage. for Hassan, because uh, Thomas, in response to this horrible hand, did not have a powerful hand enough uh, to completely dominate the map this turn. He did have both D cards, so well. Yeah, Hassan will not get it and turn two, maybe uh, even later. Honestly, with that hand, did he have any any other thing that he could have uh, evented as a as a headline? Because I personally do not like to uh, 
Okay, no, he really didn't. Have, oh, he has. No. I personally don't like to use uh, RSP as headline. If I don't have any any other, I just don't. I just feel oh. like I'm using too many ops. You know, like okay. I, yeah, unless, but what unless do I have something else. If I have a couple of threes, then maybe, operational threes, not like these style mm -hmm. threes. Then I hundred percent have entered. But if not, I'd rather have those ops for the counter coup than actually. But I don't know. That's me. Probably you have. Yeah, makes sense. No, it makes sense. But for well, he did not have any alternative. Yeah, if you didn't have any oh. other another other card that you could event, then I guess you are against a uh, rock and a hard place, right? Mm -hmm. Only thing I would have done differently is to space Decal earlier, but the outcome would have been the same. I mean, Hassan would have still sensed a rat at this time, eight, and uh, the rest but, of the turn. But that would have also given up the the queue, right? If you distal, uh if you send Decal to space. Early in the in, you're telling okay, I have obviously uh, this yeah, game, right? True. Okay, so Hassan puts a point there, and now we're gonna see. Yeah, not okay, but he uh, knows that Thomas's hand is weak. I mean, the last card cannot be great, since why not delay social governments? Otherwise, maybe the goal. Yeah, There's they, Merit uh, in they, they holding on this like, US. Maybe Arab Israeli war. And one of these three uh, will be my guess. Since I don't smell a scoring. I think Arab Israeli no. war is less likely. I think he was just being true, active true. on Egypt. I think it has to be something more ominous than Arab Israeli war. But that would justify somewhat the Egypt coup. The Egypt coup. I agree. Nothing I agree. else does. Nothing else does, really. St this event still doesn't in my eyes, but did he also successfully this... call Libya with a two up? Mm, not semi successfully. Well, he, got he re one removed either, one right? I only, I think, rolled a three. So, yeah, that was a practically missed roll. <clears throat> okay, Korean war? Nah. Not likely, but maybe. The, the Twitch chat is saying, the one of Pakistan says, I have Indopak, could be, coop me, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, five-year plan. Okay, and he so delayed he was, it for so long. Yeah, he was keeping the good ops on his hand for the, yeah. for the last AR. Okay, so, <laughs> I mean, his domination of... Um, of Asia is gonna be tough to fight since we are a three-one right now, and uh, uh, Hassan doesn't have access to India to get the th the third. Yeah, I mean the only way, no, taking Pakistan with China is a not exactly enough. At least he has a he has a good hand now, right? He has no problems to manage. He has decent amount of ops. Uh, he has containment, so he can get rid of it. So the okay, only problem is horrible. he has to score Middle East and he's very yeah. behind there too. That's a problem. I mean, it's very likely he's not dominated there. I think he'll... Uh, he could even headline it. That's 2VP. Uh, that's it. And uh, yep, there is no I event. Might, maybe I would even headline it. There is but no the first obvious... from uh, the USA yeah. that can affect on early war, right? All the events that affect Middle East are mid-war. Right? Mm, exactly. I mean, there's CIA, of course, but that's a gone and yeah. not very likely to be headlined on turn two anyway against this map. But there's also the factors and a decent chance that Thomas has it and decides to headline it if well, he doesn't have the purge containment anymore to do it. Yep. Okay. Maybe if Thomas doesn't have Asia scoring, also he would be hesitant to the factor or to headline the factors. Mm. What, Either what way, do you think about, what do you think about uh, maybe Cambridge Five to try to hit up France with uh, mm. if, if he has the? Interesting. Yeah, As Thomas might want to delay delay Europe. I mean, to there, get there are two. Aid. There are two. I think it's not bad because there are two regions that you have hard access. You don't have access right now, or it's tough for you to get access. Mm -hmm. 
So if he has Asia or Europe, first you get the read, and second, you get a point there of access without using anything. If and Thomas has Asia. He headlines Asia practically. Don't see any reason why he wouldn't, unless maybe the factors, maybe to stop whatever cards. He goes uh, for scientists, uh, which doesn't have the value right now. Mm. But I mean, at least he gives you one BP, and you don't you don't get threatened by the factors. With you basically save one up. Yeah, I assume he wants to get some more value from the Middle East, but. It does feel sort of tame. Um, no risk and no reward kind yeah. of play. I think he already given up on Asia, probably. Uh, will he try to fight Europe? I mean, I think if if he doesn't mm -hmm. want to use the goal because he want to uh, use the goal to f in case that it's an up uh, an up fight there, maybe he'll poke into West Germany. I don't know. No, maybe. Truman is still unaccounted for. I mean, so. The moment to. If you want to. Oh, no, it's going, done. Okay, Truman is done. Yeah, yeah so Truman that's. Done. I think that if yeah, you want to fight for that. France without like without risk, you would have gone for the goal right now. And well, I mean, you, you, you risk the factors, but mm -hmm. it's the way that you secure 100% that you get France if you're not gonna, you don't true. get the factor. So, I mean... That would have been a very reasonable play. Aligning the goal here. For the access. I mean, Hassan and then... has to take some risks. Yep, he's very behind on the ball right now. Yeah. He's, he's getting theory right now. <clears throat> yeah, sweet chat. It gets, gets, gets the same read as we did. They... they both as they smelling both decal and this in there in Thomas oh. hand. Okay, so yeah, it would have the goal would have been very successful play. It would have ensured that he don't get does never get dominated in Europe and probably would have helped Powell getting a domination, maybe. Cambridge fight might have been even better. Yep, Cambridge fight might have been even better. With that, because you you get if he has both in hand, you, you actually get to choose. Okay, so he's gonna poke mm -hmm. there. He's making sure that he doesn't get dominated. Middle East by taking Jordan. No, he'll he's take not Iraq. Sure yet, but yeah. It's yeah, I mean, not they will get likely. into a fight, but like Thomas will take Jordan. He will take Iraq. Thomas might take Israel or Saudi Arabia. He'll take Syria. So. It's, it's going to get really expensive for Thomas to oh, go in the Middle East. Going okay. for the high risk, high reward, reward move then. If he has in the pack, this can, this can costly, cost high. Oh, yeah. Might cost the game. Yeah, because this, this time it's actually even more likely that he has in the pack. And it's a 50 50 shot. Also, on the other hand, but, like, this yes. is a 50% better chance of actually not getting dominated than not doing it. Because right now he has zero percent chances of fighting there without using the channel card. True. <clears throat> okay, so let's see the big reveal. We're gonna see. Um... Unless Thomas has Europe scoring, in which case he's he probably die. annoyed. Oh no, no, he will. He will go for France, right? If you have, if you have. Uh... Europe scoring outfield France and fix we play. to India to take to restore domination in Asia unless Thomas is worried about in the Pakistani war as well. Because this was a bold move from the Soviets, indicating yeah. that they might have in the Pakistani war. Yep. So they just don't want to risk it at one third, one and three. So Thomas has three choices here. I mean if he has Europe Secure Libya and just let go of Asia. Be secure with a draw there if he doesn't have in the Pakistani war. Go for Asia. Try to milk it. Although in the Pakistani war is the only chance he does. Because well, Korean war in Sans hand means that he likely gets South Korea. 
I guess we will see here, if he goes for India, he 100% has in the pack. I don't think in any case I spent three ops to go to India just to get in the pack my ass, you know? Mm, true. I would, pro I would probably feel Korea uh, before I feel India, just because uh, you have Japan to protect you from Korea War. No, exactly. Although I wonder what's better if you had in the Pakistani war taking India and eventing in the Pakistani war later at probably one in three after yep. uh, politics in Afghanistan or just risking it all right now. Well, but do you think that he'll feel Afghanistan completely? Very likely. I mean, in the Pakistani war is such a huge game changer. Yeah. Okay, he has the Middle East scoring, so he might, he might go for the Middle there, East yeah. first. And, of course, he has to have, uh, for India, he has to respond by taking South Korea, stopping domination again. Yep. 100%. <clears throat> Very likely, with nuclear test ban, with four up going, well, Libya or Afghanistan, probably still Libya. But not by much. Yeah. The thing is, I mean, right now, Thomas is like, he, he has control of the game, right? He has all the tempo. He has so many threats all over the map that Hassan has to choose. He cannot defend three regions at the same time. And he's on the back foot on all of them right now. Yeah, but now, paying China card for it, he put Thomas on a little of the bad back uh, foot. At least in that region, for sure. I domination is also a threat. Yep, absolutely. So now Hassan has to choose. Like, is, uh, sorry, Thomas has to choose. Does he want to go yes. all in for the domination of Asia? Because if he doesn't have it, he might have the read that uh, Hassan has it. And mm -hmm. are you going to let that region go? The, those five <laughs> or six BPs that you Correct. have in there? No way, Jose. Okay. okay. Yes, one of the big boys and yes. India. India. And, and okay. He plays for both. Okay, so now so, Hassan. Okay. Yeah, he needs to stop that. He needs to take South Korea and one into Afghanistan. Maybe or Afghanistan. Okay. Iraq. No, 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 no. That's wrong. Libya or Afghanistan. Really, no other choice. I mean, you could maybe justify okay. playing the goal, but yeah, okay. he's, he's protecting there against uh, Indo Pak. Yeah, and that's stabilizing Asia. Uh, I think I think you're gonna see testing, doing the move, seeing what happens, and then doing the undo and deciding. Maybe he'll now give Libya a try and see yeah. what happens. <laughs> you see how it looks. He looks okay. I like it. I don't like it. Does this look fit me well? You know. Mm, yeah. Or do I look better in black? <laughs> <laughs> I look better that, in red. Does red I look better color. in red or in blue? I don't know. Let's see. <laughs> okay. Now that's a braver choice. Okay, he's taking the, he's taking that roll. He's rolling the yeah. dice right now. That the Thomas doesn't have the uh, Indo Pak war, or that he does, he rolls it low. A little bit of a risk, but again, he has to take risk. If he does that, if Thomas plays now for Indo Pak, then he's able to shift the focus into Middle East and hopefully successfully uh, preventing domination there. No well, domination is. Not really in the cards for either side in the Middle East. Well, right now, uh, if Thomas takes Libya, I think I don't think Hassan can fight that domination, right? No, he can score Middle East without the domination of those two at the cost of three victory points, of course. Yeah, unless Thomas has another one and also takes... Uh, there is another four left because you have to take Jordan and Libya. So Marshall and nuclear test ban are still around. Oh no, it's not nuclear test ban is played. Gone, Marshall yeah. only. Okay, okay no in the pack, so I guess but he still he is within reason to delay in the pack. Uh, because if Hassan the takes Jordan, Libya. if Hassan takes Jordan, does he no. prevent? Hassan cannot take Jordan. Why would he do that? Two ops spent in a non-battleground that doesn't affect the scoring. Never oh, yeah. in the early war. Yep, you're right. 
Yeah, Just dump it right now or take Iraq and see what happens. Well, if he takes Iraq, then Thomas takes Jordan, then he has to take True, Syria. But still, you are with a battleground and opponent with a slightly less effective non-battleground. Okay, yeah, he doesn't get dominated. Also one PP, yeah, he dumps it right now, and now the big easy. reveal. Because, oh yeah. Okay, hey, see no pack. The rig was yeah. correct. And, and one! Uh, okay. Hassan gets to live to die another day. By the way, Pietra is on the is on the chat, so we send. Our, <laughs> Sorry, <for that. laughs> we send our regards no from here. <laughs> yeah, let me look at the check at the chat for the first time. Yeah, he doesn't agree with the headline on Nazi. Our chat doesn't like it very much, and neither we did we. But he went for that and. Okay, so our protector of Pakistan, after the war is done, decent, and he tried to walk into, he tries to walk into uh, Argelia, probably trying to force uh, Thomas to play into France so he can get some value out of the goal rather than just uh, play it for, for access. Oh, he played Korean War. I missed that, but... Yep. That was an event. No, he was not. He he walked into Tunisia. Yes, but it was supposed to be an event. It should have been an event, in my it's, opinion. You're you your VP. That is true. Yeah, the but still, two VP at least. A good chance for a third VP and one extra op, op two op difference to influence yep. difference. 100% at agree. eight VP behind and Europe scoring two in the cards. Yeah, he's gonna uh, play. He gonna play with nine revolts instead of uh, or Cambridge five. Instead yes, of. exactly. Another yeah, Marshall. Oh wow, wow, wow! He has a lot of those. I mean, he even bloody invented it instead of just establishing a domination. The, okay. the goal is invented. No, too early. Come on, wait. Yeah, take can, Algeria. Take Algeria, threaten, okay. and then you you get the value out of it. Okay, he's just testing how France looks in red. Okay, in red socks. Yeah. Not a full dress. <laughs> Come on, he did it, really? Yeah. I, no. I would I, I would have tried to milk you a little more. I'm a very value oriented yeah. player, but should have waited to get one more uh, out of it. Take just, an Algeria first, for example. Just yeah, Tonte on a little bit into getting there. Also, we know that he could uh, headline that as well, and he didn't. Marshall, uh, headline that can cover. That was a decent choice. Yeah, that can cover is actually pretty good. Yeah, that's true. I'm guessing Thomas is finally out of four ops, maybe even three ops. And an enemy is in France. Hannibal Anteportas. <laughs> yeah. Or however it's spelled. And what do you do when you have spent, squandered all your family fortune on trifles like Spain, Portugal, Greece, Turkey? <clears throat> Let's see. If he has three ops, do you? If you are USA here, do you just settle for not getting dominated, or do you fight in France for that domination? No, you put France. everything to France. Same for the Soviets. Just ops war in France from now. Yeah, France is too important, right? Yeah. But it's probably it's probably is not gonna get a it's, it's it's gonna come on next turn. So it's only gonna be uh, scored two times before final scoring. So I mean, it's still really important. Don't get me wrong, but less yeah. important if we are on turn one. Okay, so he goes for the fight. Oh, he nope. took Algeria. That's yeah. giving up on Europe. Um, okay, he's testing the waters. I get it. Seeing, you know, Still. with a blue jersey and a red skirt, is looking good or not? Mm -hmm. uh, we need more red. Some more red. And that's always annoying when you have to undo the move and do the uh, opponent's card event. Again and again and again. 
I actually think I actually fly. think that slamming is better because it's unlikely that Thomas can control it. There is no Truman, so you can take it next AR on AR one if you want. Yeah, but Thomas might maybe have another uh, three op boosted to four op now thanks to containment. I'm not counting oh. the cards really right now. Yeah, me neither. I mean, I have I, uh, the just Comic Con. Okay. Oh, so Asia. Okay. Very bad so, that he kept uh, Asia for the last AR, but... He yeah, but, her. okay, he did have merit in all of his moves. First, he fought for Asia, including in the Pakistani war. Then, okay, he took Libya, also a worthwhile move. Maybe, okay, eventing Marshall. That should have been Asia scoring instead. Okay. Because uh, eventing Marshall then did not give you anything, no. really. Yep. Okay, okay so, so we got a new hand, two four up for Hassan. Your non rebels five fell. He knows uh, that the Europe scoring is still in his hand is in his hand, so Gambit Five is not gonna do probably anything. He has the factor so he can get rescue perch if he wants. He has decent amount of ops. Okay, what does do we know about Thomas's hand? Mm, I mean about the forced card that are there. Okay, so no, Swiss, Swiss, crisis, Swiss Crisis is not gone. Uh, um, okay, Common Con went to to Hassan. The force huh. are out, right? All the force went out. Yes. Yes. Uh, what else is important here? Uh, fire plan is gone. Nothing important. Only some cards that are not usually mentioned, I think. Arab Israeli War, okay. Arab but Israeli War has to, that, has to come out. Uh, I don't remember any other card other than that. No, the wars are <laughs> out. Um, Scorings, yes, yeah, same. The cards, same. Union Invention is out too. Truth. I don't know exactly what are, what are we missing here. Yeah. Um, I should go to the cards lists at the beginning of turn three and just browse through them. Usually, just reading the card's name is enough for me to remember it. Whether okay, it's been played. Relationship, but that one has been played already. It was played already. Fidel! We missed Fidel. Uh, Fidel is still there. Okay, so now he can just take control of it and give up the coup, which is, I don't think it's a bad idea because Euro has to be scored. And if you coup, you're gonna 100% yeah, but... get dominated. He coups? What? Okay, so he doesn't care for Euro domination. I mean, he knows that he has Swiss, but still, and he's spurred, so he has to have a four to be able to take France. So I guess he's well, he has China. Oh, that's always something. Yeah. Okay, he has and he has one. another one. No, Hassan screwed his, himself here. I think he should yeah. have headlined Europe. And now he just placed China, even, into France with over control. Europe is a done deal. It's US domination. Mm -hmm. Now and forever. Uh, okay, maybe not forever. Uh, I'm getting has, too wet he has, here. He has Suez, so Suez has to come out unless he spaces it. Okay, that's one card that goes to space. And he has yep. China card here, can hold two. Yep, that is no, true. That's domina domination is a done deal, not to seal yep. it. Yeah, 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 yeah I, I agree. I, I, I think he's true that he 100% should have given up the coup. There is not really any... No, no, not give up the coup. Headlined Europe for zero and did the coup. Okay, so that okay, that's probably better. I mean, yeah, it's only one BP difference, so probably you're right. Uh, would have been at, at zero, at a draw. Yeah, so... but if, if you if you do what I, what I said, then you get one BP, so it's one BP difference. For uh, but then you give ups. up the coup. Yeah, you give up the. Oh coup. no, no, you go for Europe. Give up the Q. Q. Europe is still one VP up, but maybe a uh, two battlegrounds worth of difference. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, like, there was not really any battleground that he could coup from Hassan because Iraq is the only coup country. Uh, oh right. Country. Okay, so only he doesn't lose a battleground and gets mill ups. So yeah, the, 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 the thing, the only thing is that is the the military ops is was two VPs. And protecting uh, your own battleground. Yep. Okay. 
just please don't leave any profile screen while you do. <laughs> Obstructing the view again. OK. I'm guessing he's going there to curse a little about the state of affairs in Europe. Yeah, that was a little bit of a, uh, you know, he, I, I just no, don't understand the logic. Go. I don't know what's, what, what makes you do that? Like, why, why would you just give up Europe like that when you actually have a fighting chance? You just purge him. Mm -hmm. I guess that in Turkey, trust was the reason. He trusted that all the four ops were gone. Yeah. Perch, uh, opponent is perch, so he can even break like control. Said, he he knew hundred percent he had China guard, so he can. I mean, he for, I yeah. mean, he probably thought maybe he gives a China guard. Well, whatever, right? Exactly. No, no that should have been okay. <laughs> we do get an obstructed view, though. Yeah. Not by Hassan's fault, but still. What did he do? What did Thomas do? Uh, overprotect France, take Angola. Okay. A reasonable move. Yeah, very reasonable move. He's going to want to walk to that side here to make sure that he doesn't get coup next turn. Exactly. He has plenty of time. He might even walk into Colombia at the end of the turn. We'll see. Since there's not going to be a coup in Panama. Mm, true, true. Okay, not much to talk about right now. Still. This change of paradigm in favor of USA seems worrying. First game won by the USA, this one, in the, a US team role. Yep. The I kind of wonder what that's going. about. And there must be something wrong, the, wrong sorry, with the random number generator play deck. I'm not saying about the dice necessarily, but I think in my last... And 12 or something games, all of them were played at random plus two or beat plus two for both sides. Mm -hmm. And I got Soviets 100% of the time. Mm -hmm. My last 12 games on play deck were played by the so with the Soviets. Not by choice. Something you, must be wrong. Are you more comfortable with the USA over the, over the Soviets? No, I'm more comfortable with the Soviets. I always like playing the... Okay. Brutal, straightforward Soviet style steamroll like, and well, good chance of not getting steamrolled also. Although a US steamroll does happen from time to time. Like just like this one, turn three, and he's 10 points ahead. Oh, it wouldn't have mattered that much if uh, Soviets had B cards and some uh, presence in the mid war regions. But yeah. we'll end up at 13 actually here. Oh, and oh, and okay. not so. this all. This space, so Hassan is probably going to have troubles going yeah. to protect going to South space. America. Okay, good choice. I'm surprised not... that I'm surprised that he decided to coup Iran over Panama because of the. There's access. merit in both, actually. I mean, Iran scores twice, one for OPEC, one for Middle East. Does a little bit for Pakistan protection. Whereas, of course, Panama gets him in the region and has a higher success uh, probability. Yep. So, yep. there's and argument for both. Take, it, take into account that he doesn't have Fidel. Uh, I mean, he might get mm -hmm. it at some point. And he also has liberation theology and all of that. But, you know, those cards might come t a little too late. No, but he might. He will never get Fidel before late war. I mean, now it's an unplay unplayable card with CA gone. Yeah, he practically. Probably, unless he gets it, he will get space for sure. And well, Thomas does have Fidel, I think, unless it happened earlier. Don't recall no, he, really. He, he he sent it to space earlier. Or, oh, okay. No, I forgot or, about was it. Oh, was it uh, Hassan that played it? I'm pretty sure that it's already gone. Okay. Okay. Could uh, be. I don't know. I don't I'm know. not that Im emotionally invested in this game, so <laughs> I don't remember the cards all that I could well. Be, I could be okay. wrong. Was it Fida one of the ones that you said that uh, didn't come out? I think so. I think that okay. I counted Fida and Arab Israeli War okay. among the cards Fida, that Arab didn't Israeli happen. War and Suez is in the hand. This stuff was in the hand too. And yeah, I think Hassan is doing the same the same math that we're doing. Trying to see what else is in his hand. There's the Arab Israeli war. So, so yes, of course. 
and okay, not sure about the unrest. Well, that's this European unrest, but could have happened. That's another reason to uh, to go for France because instead of Queen, because you know that Arab Israeli war is his hand and he has Suez, so I mean he might have to play it anyway. Which mm-hmm. he had to because he had Better to card. play the China card. Well, than to give up Milops like that. Well, but then you got the China card, so I don't know. I I I'm, I think it's a it was a possibility, but yeah, probably your your play was much safer. Just Avente, early war, and uh, on the and headline. Even no. play the China card. He goes for the slam there. Okay. That makes sense. Of though, of course. He did okay. I didn't like the Jordan play. I know it helped with Arab Israeli war, but well, leaving Angola unprotected, nothing okay. in Mexico. So Hassan doesn't get punished and he gets junta, so he can just get access to South America, no problem. But he decides okay, Quagmire makes sense. Uh, Quagmire. Quagmire might give you better return. You can always junta headline uh, turn two if you see that um, they got out. He probably want to coup Africa, right? Knowing having Africa scoring more important, probably. Mm, true, true, of course. He probably yeah. he, he probably well, hoping was... that he can get a, a, a easy domination with a coup and putting one point in Cameroon in Zimbabwe or something like that. Oh yeah, he could get a big score here in yeah. Africa. If Quagmire succeeds and uh, more than once, he get an easy mm-hmm. elimination. Although uh, Thomas must be holding two bad cards, so in crisis maybe Dickel, since that would definitely justify playing the China, China card. card. Yep. Uh, and turn three. Yeah, that second card that he holds so, is a nasty one. Quagmire would help him a little bit alleviate these issues. <clears throat> Maybe he won't even be very bothered if he misses a roll. Uh, uh, yeah, East European unrest is also hasn't been uh, played yet. Okay, I don't think so. Yeah, they're they're, they're saying it on the chat. Ah, Romania vacation was played cards. for. Romania vacation was played. Yeah, I remember that was one of the turn one cards. Yeah. <laughs> I remember that one vividly. Okay, let's see what Thomas. Ooh, the the clock on Thomas side. Well, both sides. We're only two four, and we already consume half an hour. Mm-hmm. A little bit on the slow side, but okay. Panama Canal. Panama. Okay. Not usually a fan, but then again, he has so many vulnerable battlegrounds. Although giving yeah. access into Asia. Hmm. Okay, he's that, placed one. That's interesting. No, I actually didn't like that. He should have delayed that no. by one action round. Yeah. I mean, if he could Sair right now, he doesn't then have he can... China car. He can. He. I think Ku Sair here was was clear. Yeah, because if uh, Thomas misses a roll right now, then you get free domin- free domination of Africa. Then, yeah. Now, no, okay. Okay. I mean, he could if Thomas gets out of here of the quagmire right now, then you might not have the chance to go for Nigeria, or at least you have to go to both Sakharov State and Cameroon. Yep. Whereas if you could Zaire first, then you can after first miss, you use a three op secure South Korea and go to Cameroon. Yep. After, so after the first miss, you just take Nigeria. Yep. Just much better, but. Let's see okay. if he's gonna go for that. Uh, Maybe realign. Yeah, realign yeah, Venezuela. No. Okay, nothing. No, uh, uh, no. Okay. Yeah. You know, sometimes he you got need. something out of Junta, but not that much. Well, he got the access that is more important than anything. He always had the access. That was never in question with Junta in hand. Yeah. Yeah. But Junta as a headline is just a monster. I mean, he could flip two battlegrounds. Yep. Not just take flip. Whereas now he just got one battleground. Yep. 
he could have taken uh, yeah, easy Brazil and Panama with a coup, but uh, whatever. Where it's no, he had Africa. He went for Africa. That's very reasonable. Yeah, yeah. I just so, feel that maybe Junta should have been a turn five headline. He also have he. The problem is he worked when an event arms race, right? It's three BPs. That means he doesn't have a lot of ops available. He got, well, he has Orman in Tehran, but Bear Trap is definitely not going to be played. Mm. Okay, see. one reason for not uh, holding Hunt until later is, of course, that, well, you have two bad uh, events, uh, Bear Trap in Tehran, and you probably want to hold one dump the others to, into space. Yep, absolutely. Possibly now, since they're both at the same level in space, so the first one who goes into space gets two victory points. Oh, who succeeds, of course. I see so, I see that Thomas might was... have Southeast Asia scoring. <laughs> That's like, yeah. it's kind of nasty. Okay, is so there? Hassan, Hassan is defending against that, that scoring. Okay, so if Thomas has it, okay, there's still more to get from Asia, so this is Asia. Hmm, two more both... victory points, what, two ops? I think, but... does Hassan that's a double spear here to take Saharan states and give up the two BPs of the, uh, of the coup, of the military ops? Central America uh... scoring, oh Jesus. Okay. Yeah. It could have been so game over this turn. Yeah. With a junta. If, if you have Hela and Junta and take Panama with a, with a coup? No, no, I mean game over for USA. I mean the victory uh, yeah. for USA. If with only slightly different I don't know, uh, outcome in maybe South America, maybe Africa, maybe in space. Because if he holds Fidel, then he could have and probably should have controlled Central America. Yep, absolutely. I, I, that's what I was thinking. Like, why didn't he start slamming up on Central America? That's like uh, six BPs. If you get, mm -hmm. oh, no, it's more than six BPs if you get control, right? It's ten Besides, or it's eleven for the U for the USSR, but that's yeah. because of uh, Mexico ten, and Cuba. ten for the USSR, eight for the for USA. I know these values by heart, actually. <laughs> So I don't know, ABPs, that would have I would have put you at eighteen right now. Oh yeah. And one space and you're there. Only explanation I can think of is a very poor hand, maybe. Well, Although he did get rid of uh, two very bad cards uh, thanks to Quagmire. Yep. I also think that we're gonna see a Southeast Asia. I don't, I don't unless that... okay, unless that, yes. That would be also be a good justification. Still not going for even a domination uh, when you don't have the mill ups. That's weird. Yeah, he only needed like for a safe one. You only need four ups. You need two Mexico, uh, not even that. Two ups. Just take Costa Rica and that's it. Mm. Not even a very safe one. You can afford to give up a coup if you don't have mill ups. That's true. You gotta just give him, give him that coup and then you coup back and get your mill ups. Yep. You get the domination taking Guatemala and Nicaragua, maybe? Oh, okay, so it, he did have it, but still did not push very hard for it. So Indonesia now... uh, and Philippines. Okay, so this does it probably. Well, no, because he can just take South Africa, right? Then he takes Nigeria and then he scores, yeah. That does it for Hassan. No, no, I mean, then uh, Thomas breaks Algeria. I mean, the obvious response uh, for Thomas is now one Angola, two South of Africa. Yeah, but he has two. Uh, he, can, he can protect, uh, so take Nigeria and protect Algeria. And... Oh, but it was last AR for Hassan. Oh, so yeah, only two of yeah, uh, South Africa and well, it's a draw. He basically gave do you want a coup and get your mill up? So do you want to... Uh... Oh, you can do both. Oh my okay. God. There you go. <laughs> yeah, he does have some mill up potential. Oh, what? Okay. Okay, something that, of a justification. 
maybe he has the third scoring too. <laughs> no, but this is like yeah, w- South America, all good. WTF? Like I did not expect that at all. Oh, okay. He just, he just gave up a domination on Africa for free when he could have dominated it. No, not dominated. Oh, it. No, not dominated. He but does not, have a but but not get from domination. Okay, Allende comes to the rescue for that South Af- so South America, and liberation yeah. theology will give him access to uh, Central America, even though it's already been scored, so not that important right now. Okay, Allende is a no-brainer here, knowing that the factors is on the is on the discard. True, followed by a coup in Venezuela, probably with probably. Cuban missile crisis. Okay, missile envy alert, not. Okay, something of a problem, but not great. Not a great problem. Yeah, if he gets uh, Cuba Missile Crisis, I mean, the coup gets denied, but you still get a 2-2 in, in South America. So you, you're you golden, basically. Compared to what he was looking, I mean, I settled for a, a two background switch on South America. True, although... We haven't still seen all uh, all of the or any of the great U.S. events in colonials, mm, OAS. grain, boys, even puppets, even OAS. Yes, all of that can challenge the uh, sand. Oh, once, but once South America is filled here, like OAS doesn't do anything. Uh, sorry, OAS. Um, uh, puppet doesn't do anything anymore. Puppet is okay. Free. Yeah. Another miss. That was was an Indo pack. Indo pack on headline. Yeah, usually not great. It's not a tempo move. Asia, okay, Asia is still in the deck, but this could have been played later. Yeah, maybe he has it actually. Is that a possibility? Always. But still, in the back is not okay. okay oh it's something God. of a tempo move. Whoa, he we does. have a comeback here. Yeah, no, ladies and no, gentlemen, mostly the... gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, there is nothing. There's any lady there. <laughs> but you, we, you have to be um, politically okay. oh, yeah. here. Argentina, maybe. Brush for into Venezuela always. <laughs> Brush but other. Yeah. Brash work could bring him back, but I mean, we don't know if he has it or not. But now we are looking at uh, Soviet dominated South America. Yeah, I think uh, he has to protect, uh, try to raise to, you know, take that Uruguay maybe. So he doesn't take it. Maybe force him to take uh, Peru or. Yeah, he goes for oh, that. Oh, that was a good move. Yeah, he's threatening good. now the realignment, which is really good. So now, what do you want to do? Do you want to coup or do you want to take the... No, no, no. You just risk your realignment at, yeah, at minus one for you. They I are agree. always so unreliable. Although, okay, it's too bad that Hassan doesn't have a three up since but it's the very good to deny a follow-up to a realignment. If, and if Thomas now, has Argentina. enough hops, he's going to challenge that domination. He's going to go for to Paraguay, Bolivia, whatever it takes, right? As long as he has the hops, he's not going to let... Well, he could just realign Venezuela and there is no domination. Yeah, I'm, I'm assuming that uh, he's not going to be successful on that, but but he could. Who knows? True. Because he had the, he is overprotected there, so he basically has to get pretty, pretty decent roles there to kick him out. But who knows? There is that 33% possibility that it actually happens. Mm, that's yeah, every role, I think. Yep. I don't remember the exact math. I don't so. remember the math either, but... Yeah, with three ops, it's a very high chance of happening. Something like 70 or even 80% of uh, removing the Soviets from Venezuela entirely, and even some lucky shot at Argentina might work. Hmm. Which is very unfortunate. Uh, uh, I mean, it's very unfortunate that uh, Hassan did not have a three op to take Chile as well. Because yep. then you're more or less insulated in Argentina. Okay, oh, yeah. it's a while to realign. Okay. No change. If you just no click, change. Okay, last five, one. Five, one five. Wow. Oh boy. Okay. Oh, yeah, now we can. Now comes a coup to, to yeah. protect that. <laughs> Interestingly, and... uh, Hassan rolled a five each time. Three fives in a row. <laughs> 
Yeah, I usually notice those things. <laughs> so now, okay. what's, what's Hassan? The coup war in Colombia has to be. Yeah, coup in Colombia to threaten again the same. Yeah, until one of them gets a high roll. Yeah. Okay. But perhaps even then, because what That's, is Thomas? That was another five, by the way. <laughs> Uh, I think yeah, he had a lower role earlier with LADS. It's still, okay, what other scorings are there? There's Asia, Middle East. That's it, I think. I'm just wondering if Thomas can be encumbered with anything else. Seems like Hassan yeah, is scrolling okay. back. He's scrolling back into the game. Oh, yeah. He gets that domination and scores almost even. He might yeah. even want to be greedy, and if Thomas doesn't... I'll be it's just one, it's one BP for one up, I'll take it 100%. Yeah, and the uh, spare goes to Nigeria. So that's worthwhile as well. Yep. The problem is he has Armand in Tehran, Nixon, and Liberation Theology. He doesn't want to event any of those. Well, he'll give up Nixon, I assume. You give the China card over Armand in Tehran, knowing that there is no region that you want to score. Well, Middle East. Hey, it depends what else can be there. My Middle East, I would like to have Middle East. Yeah. I've discarded. What else? The thing is, Middle East can be easily tied, yes, by three up taking Israel. Uh, yes, but there's also Muslim Revolution. That's true. And so, that, that, which that I him, also don't want to get discarded. That gave him Libya back. Exactly. So I really dislike giving up, uh, playing uh, the one man tech run for the event here, allowing that event. I would I, rather just give up the China card, given that CA is gone. I would roll the dice over over giving the China card. I value the China card a lot, yeah. but that's uh the China card allows you to do so much crap on the on the last turn, and your is already gone. So, true, true. but also the other the other side is. Cultural Revolution is still to come, and if it comes in his hand, it's an unplayable card when, if you give him the China card. And it's a free three up if you, if, if you have the China card, so. Mm -hmm. Okay, what is he doing? Breaking stuff? No, just no. denying a domination. But that's expensive. I that's... assume that's his, oh, Tehran. Yeah, he's. He's uh, doing like I do, and just like, you know, if, if the guy is against dive. me. Yeah, the problem or is... Another testing two the water. Up. <laughs> the problem is another two up right now. Uh, on the on Thomas' side, basically means he takes Bolivia and we're in the same spot. I would have maybe advanced into Peru instead of we're protecting. I don't know. We're protecting Argentina. Maybe about. take Nigeria because this hand will not allow you to dominate South America against... Uh, the right. determined opponent. Okay, that determined. Yeah, that Whoa. hundred percent ensures the domination. He's he's telling you, I have it. Okay, like no games. You okay, no, he's just testing it. No, I'm not, how it looks. You're getting dominated <laughs> unless you do a hell mary coup here. So just not a hell mary. You just need to swing Colombia. Well, yeah, but Colombia right now is a very unlikely. Right? With a two up, how much do you need? Do you need a five? You need a five or a six, right? No, six. No, and okay. With a two up, you need a six, okay. So, okay, a little bit of a Hail Mary. That's true. If you do a three up, you get a four, four, five, or, four, five or six. No, five and six only. You need to take Colombia, not just deny it, I think. Let me yeah, do this. Six, e, yeah, four e. plus three. If you, use a three if you use a three up, it'd be seven, right? Three plus four, seven, and right now difficulty is one times two plus forty six. So okay, four, okay. So four is enough for three up. Two is uh, five is enough for a two up. Yeah. Okay. He has his own problems. He's not. He's not gonna fight. Yeah. Him. Okay. So Hassan gets back into the game. Yeah. We're still on well, on war games. He got the China card for his trouble. So that's something. Yeah. That is definitely something. Like and got the Peeping Tom award for Thomas. He gets to see the headline now. Yep. Okay, so he's reinforcing a little bit that uh, no more Arab Israeli war. Nixon goes to space. 
No wanna get no no BPs given. Mm. And he's holding on Marine Terran, which is not as that dangerous to play on turn seven. Because on turn six, sorry, because they're really oh, yes and no. Depends what on what you have seen so far. Yeah. Agreed. But at least the cards are back in the deck the next turn, right? So True, but yeah. the same. Okay, not the next turn, but you've played on turn five. It'll be back soon enough. And you just get more information on uh, turn six, but this might be either pro or against uh, the Tehran yeah. event. Okay, and Brezhnev. Brezhnev for free. Uh, where did he put the uh, other op? One went into North Korea. Well, yeah, I think this should North have Korea been both. Overprotect Angola for a flip. Oh, okay. So not decent. That's... I think it's a decent. Merchable. He has a China okay. card now, so there is a, a certainty that he can flip North Korea. Okay, so he got Muslim Revolution. He didn't get immediately scoring. And Mr. Kennedy is still lurking about. Yep. Us is Missile Envy and Missile Envy. And what about it's Brass good. War? Sorry? No Brass War. So, okay, he's, we're going to take into his hand. So, we're going to see his hand now. For the first no, time in the game. Yet, not yet. He's just measuring up the card against the slot. See if it fits. Mm. No. What about Missile? That Missile Envy is going to give a, for a big four up card for a coup. Yeah, but he's also very likely to have grain sales. So, might decide to go with grain sales instead. Although, the, given that two of the Soviet's high cards are still unaccounted for, for uh, Thomas, the yeah. Flower Pride Massive Revolution, he might have will bury you. Not only that, but like, uh, there, are, there are some, like, the two most dangerous cards in the USA, we haven't seen them, right? We haven't seen Grain Cells, we haven't seen uh, Boys of America. And Colonials also. And okay, colonials. not that dangerous right now, but very good overall. Hmm. Puppet's not really worth much here. Still a decent-ish card. Well, I th uh, Thomas could flip Africa with uh, Boys of America right now. Mm, no, not flip, just for... Well, oh, remove, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Remove Sair, right. Cameroon, and Saharan. And you get Sair, and if he dares to walk into Saharan, you could. Okay. So, grain cells it is. Actually, an inferior headline to... Oh, okay. He gets, he the got, <laughs> he gets flower power, so I, I guess... Yeah, he gets he it anyway. It. Although, well, he gets the event yeah, associated with it. Or in Missy Lally, he around. gets the event. But now the hand size of of Hassan has been reduced, so he's not to play yeah, every single card. Yeah, matter for him. Yes, Sadat is non-entity. Honestly, from the USA Nicola. point, I think it's hundred yeah, percent green sales because you have the China card, so you're gonna force him to play every single card, right? Yes, of course, China card would get stolen this turn, but this is another matter entirely. Uh, also. Uh, Hassan is not very troubled with this hand, with having to play it all. I mean, Tehran goes to space, puppets, okay, it's mostly an empty yep. play because it doesn't give any new access to yep. the USA. I think it's a free card at this point because basically, what is he going to go? Cuba? Oh, not Mexico? free. Uh, it practically pays for itself. Uh, the yeah. value of the influence placed is similar to the two ops you yeah, get for it. As long as he has Nigeria. If he has Nigeria, I don't think it's any any problem. Yeah. Because Indonesia is a, is Indonesia doesn't matter. Oh. Okay. Um, we go for the flip. Okay. So putting Hassan didn't in like trouble. That. I really he, didn't like that, I think. He must have a way to get military ops here. Oh yeah, we see his hand now. He has Rush yeah, War. That's rush right. War. Yeah. So Still. some negotiation. He has a pretty pretty strong hand. The Voice of America. Some negotiations. Mm -hmm. Brush war. Duck and cover. Very decent, yes. Yeah. Did not get miss it. Oh yes, it's a little late, but I mean, whatever. It's still two ops, right? For if you event it. Also, if you want to keep it in the deck, it's basically an unplayable card for Hassan later. Might be better, given that you have Voice of America as AR7, unless you decided to use it against Africa, maybe. 
Though it is interesting that two scoring cards are left for turn seven. Also, I think it's gonna. What about Boys of America in in Asia to ensure the domination of Asia? Asia. Has I think it's ensured anyway. And like, okay, if he uses the China card, if he doesn't, not necessarily. But if he does, it's done deal. Hmm. Okay, I wonder what Hassan should do right here. Should he just lower Defcon and fight for North Korea? Could I mean, be reasonable. He has to give Muslim rebels if he want to fight versus for North Korea. True. Yeah, maybe it's better to forfeit Asia. Just foot one in Nigeria now. Do a two up coup. I think it's just too rough because even even if he's able to defend huh. North Korea, he has still a war that is a fifty fifty on on Pakistan. Yeah. Okay. What is the best war target here? Still probably Brazil. No, no, Brazil. Uh, it's, uh, it's uh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's, it's, yeah. So Venezuela. <laughs> yeah. Venezuela, Argen Argentina, either or. But Venezuela gives OPEC, so. Mm, more exactly. And Argentina is more vulnerable in the late war. What about just Queen Angola? You know that he, he can, that way he kind of wipe you out. Yeah, but this, okay, this is a rather low card. Okay, so Whiskey's still gonna slam. Where is he gonna uh, protect North Korea? Still, I would have. Ah. Huh. The problem is, he doesn't have a very decent card to coup Angola with. <clears throat> yeah. I because... mean, Wangama is a bit low. I would prefer at least a two up for the yeah, coup. I agree. Although, okay, he has the unrest card, so there's that. Yeah, maybe but, yeah. But you maybe go with that guy, goal. right? It's three ups if you rent it. Yeah, so he should probably forfeit uh, Asia, go for Angola all in. Maybe yeah. prompt an early voice of America if he just goes low for Angola. If he if he if takes he... one off, the South African rest will flip it. Yes, yeah. and this will prompt Voice of America. Yeah. Okay, so no, that not that not happened. And Sadat goes where? Nigeria, probably. To Nigeria. Yeah. That that's sure actually pretty, yeah. pretty clever because this prompts the use of Voice of America against Southern Africa. Well, he's thinking it again. And China, then right? you can use South African unrest to just take it. Yep. Okay, that's also reasonable. Nigeria is not threatened by anything. I mean, colonials are still gun puppets are in Soviet hand. Yep. So that also might prompt uh, Thomas to his Voice of America against Africa, which would have been an error. Since uh, South African arrest just goes back to the region. Yep. And also you don't have, like before, uh, you had control of, of Angola. So it was it was better. But now that you don't have Angola, he can just walk right back in. So I don't think that makes any sense anymore. And though I still would have used probably Sadat in Nigeria first. I mean, there's no real value in denying the play of the China card to the USA, I think. And, well, there's no reason to rush with Cultural Revolution as well. Taking Nigeria might maybe matter. Besides, you free up your hand to play Muslim Revolution if you dump Sadat first. I think he want to hold Muslim Revolution for for if he sees that Thomas wants to fight in Middle East and take nah. Israel. No, no, the value is too great. Okay, maybe hold it for later in this turn. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah later, later in this turn. Yeah, whenever if Thomas hints that he wants to prevent domination in Middle East, then use use the event and removing completely from Egypt and Libya, flip Libya on the way, and then you force him to get again back into Egypt. Mm -hmm. So basically, forcing him to spend four ops and and lose one battleground. Probably at that point, he doesn't even he doesn't even fight back since he's, the domination is basically happening anyway. True. Now I would really like to for uh, Hassan. I like to uh, to prompt USA somehow into playing Voice of America early before I play Liberation Theology for the event. 
Yes. Otherwise, this will be played as a response to liberation theology, just denying uh, Mexico. I'm thinking of something. I, I, did he get rid of Suez already, or he's still holding Suez from the turn three? No, no, no. I, I see, think he died. I see, I see Fidel going to space, but I don't remember if... Um... Maybe the Quagmire, because he oh, played he, okay. the Quagmire. I don't remember the second card. Okay, so it seems like Twitch chat is a little bit of a discussion on the play in Europe back in turn three when he gave up Europe instead of fighting it. So there are some people. So Hobby Money, I think, is, is Neb Lauer, right? Uh, Neb Lauer, uh, he, he plays on... Uh, he plays on Michael Patnick, I think, in Michael Patnick Division. Okay, okay. And he's saying that uh, Hassan could have uh, could have could have more BPs if he hadn't given up Europe in turn three. Oh, definitely. Uh, that seems like his biggest mistake of the game. Yep. Okay. Oh, Thomas is still thinking. Yep. It's kind of weird, actually. I mean, you take North Korea. That's obvious enough. I mean, yeah. This is a. Clear domination, ensuring that you're getting those points there. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you may be overprotected. Oh, really? By that much? Hmm. But his hand was relatively decent. Um, so right now, the only way that Hassan has to come back is an indo pak war in India, right? But indo pak was played on turn three. Yeah. Okay. So then there's no way that he comes back before he gets scored. Well, okay, he could maybe jam the China card into Japan. Well, obviously not right now, but... Later in the turn. Sometime earlier. Uh, later, sorry. Yeah. If he gets the Asia scoring um, and a good hand. Right now, he, sh he should just uh, boost Africa and protect Middle East. And ask Thomas, does he want to play Voice of America right yeah. now? Just look him in the eye and yeah. do you feel lucky? Yeah. Expletive here. You come at me, bitch. Send me, send me a voice <laughs> of America. Yes, something like that. Okay, maybe... No, no, you don't want that event. Come on, wait for it. Wait. No, no. Delay it. Okay, he wants, he wants to thread the realignment there. Against what? One influence? Yeah, he would. I mean, he would like kick him out of the region, right? But yeah, I got, I, got, I, I can get the point. Yeah. No, no, Sadat is the obstacle here. He has to go. Then Mushroom Revolution can be played decently. Yeah. Okay. Finally, he heard us. <laughs> Hassan, we're telling you what to do. Okay. <laughs> naughty, <Back>. naughty. <laughs> naughty, naughty, Hassan. Okay, so yeah, but do you think that is, do you think oh, it's worth yes, for Hassan to go for Botswana realignment or no? Like now that he has, he will go for control right now. Mm, yeah, definitely. Although Botswana is a good place to put the influence from South African rest. Although with Angola only at one and Portuguese Empire already discarded. Yeah. Probably should put at least one more in Angola. Besides, nuclear uh, subs are also around. Yep, nuclear and subs. Africa is prime target. Oh yeah, absolutely. Especially with all these ones and two influence. Okay, but now Thomas should probably space something if he has anything spaceable. Don't recall at the moment. Uh, his hand, uh, the, the details. I remember Voice of America and OS, of course. He has. But him, that... He has. Uh, uh, Cuba Missile Crisis has it? No. No, no, no that. Cuba Missile Crisis. Last turn. I'm going confused. Um, I don't remember what was in his hand. OAS for sure, and, and Voice of America for sure, too. But he didn't have. A, Nuclear subs, I would have remembered that. I, I, I would have remembered that as well. So the other cards were mostly non entities, probably. Oh, yes, Brass War. Brass War is the one that. Is oh, yeah, of course. Of course, should have remembered that. 
But I think Brazil will uh, we'll go for South America, right? I mean, if you don't have any other option, you maybe play it on uh, Algeria just to get the presence. But you could hold it uh, for the next turn mm -hmm. because well, of the flower power. You probably don't want Broshwar to appear once again. Yep. In play. You so want the evil a... empire to to come out to save you. Exactly. So that's a good reason to hold uh, Broshwar until turn seven or maybe even later. For now, okay. OIS seems kind of weak. So maybe just use it for a coup. Somewhere, Cameroon, maybe. I mean, you didn't need your millops. Brush war is another way to get them, of course. But OS is so desirable in Soviet yeah, hands. Like okay, one of those Those's small countries. Cool. Okay. Oof. Completely underwhelming, that coup. Yeah, I got you something. I mean, now Voice of America would have merit in Africa. You just wipe all the. Backgrounds and, and you South African unrest doesn't get you back, so yeah, that's okay. a good enough reason to he's take. Seen, he's seen that uh, Voice of America coming and he overprotects, yeah. I mean, he could also overprotect Nigeria, but yeah, you don't want to play that event anyway, so why not now? I mean, if he events and take on Nigeria and Saharan states, you just cook Cameroon, they saw one, and get back in there. True. Of course, this might uh, uh, turn out to be a coup war, and Hassan's hand is a bit tied down right now. I mean, the yep. two reds you want as the event, and you probably don't want Tehran allowed because of gunmen. Uh, which is probably the most important card unaccounted for, well, other than scoring. That might be on on. Oh, and, and the scorings too, of course. You want Mills is scoring to come up, so Tehran is more or less unplayable here. <clears throat> yeah, but he has China guard. Even if he gets it, like he's not gonna die out of that. Yeah, China. but you don't play China guard for that. You hold on to it. Yeah. Now it's getting kind of important with all the US DEFCON suicide cards coming and Gunman on the other side. It's getting him a bit more value <clears throat> this late in the game. Hmm. The China got now like you wanna you want the longer the game the, the more you the more value you give it you give to it. For sure. Because uh, it's the kind of complicated. Is... I don't feel it's just an arithmetic uh, what's the name? Yeah. When you have one, three, five, etc. Well, let me just put it into yeah. a, a geometric. series. Yeah, yeah geometric series. Uh, uh, environment arithmetic series. It's not that it just rise, rises in value as it goes. Uh, monotonously. It's a bit more valuable on turn one, for example. Then it drops in value on turn two because it cannot any longer be used to hold down to both D cards or a D card and blockade. Oh no, lo lo he played Long Gamma on Hellline. Long Gamma is not in the deck. All right. Yeah, All right. we saw Sam because Long Gamma was, was played. So, Is that no, something of a relief? I think our main Charan, the only. What cards are there that Hassan might want to... Scoring. Uh, Middle East scoring. 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 Nothing else, probably. I mean, there is Che, of course, but... Uh, che oh, right yeah. now has kind of low value. He already dominated in South, South America. There is nothing and to take. There's the something market. of a value in Che, but Middle East scoring is pretty important, given that Asia is probably lost, and that means war games territory uh, when going into late war. And of course, Thomas is still holding Brush War, so the Fa big Fabia game plan is still to come, right? Really? Oh, okay. Uh, he he was played on turn two, remember? On the last day out of turn yeah, two. Yeah, yeah. So that's also something you want to keep in the deck. Yeah, you want that for, to get rid of Asia. If, if it exactly. Comes. Thomas, well, Thomas could probably use play Voice of America here, clear Nigeria, Zaire, and take one from Algeria, maybe. 
because then you cannot protect all three. Yep. I uh, mean, you could cook Cameroon, but then USA just takes Algeria. That's worth something, I guess. Of course, then you respond with liberation theology, maybe, to Mexico. The only problem is that well, Thomas doesn't, uh, sorry, Hassan doesn't have a good card. Okay, he did not do that. Okay. Okay, that screams mass revolution. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's gonna be the response, and there's gonna be a domination in the Middle East. No, he could wait. I mean, he knows that Thomas doesn't have the scoring. Yeah. That's true. So he can maybe do as an AR, he can do it as an AR six and and do the threat in there. Yeah, spacing is somewhat reasonable right now. But it's possible oh, that. Sorry. But the problem with uh, waiting right now is that if he he can remove him from the region with Boys of America. Which region? Uh, from that, from the Middle East, East part, right? He oh, removes him out of the Yes, but not very strong uh, mid turn. Okay, more and more war games territory. So Muslim revolution probably right now. Or Liberation Theology. Hard to guess which one. He does that okay. and pokes one. Yeah. Yeah, so that prompts Voice of America. Probably just looking yeah, at... Two, four, oh. I mean, it's a two up or two up. And yeah, I but Voice I assume you just want to look at how Mexico feels in red. <laughs> but no, he just went for it. Yeah, oh, but yeah, now he's like uh, Brian Reynolds would say, he's touching my superpower. Has to get out of there. <laughs> okay, so Voice of America is a decent reply to that, but Thomas might be willing to hold on to it until I think it's, last feels AR. A little, weak, a wee, little weak play for Voice of America just to, you know, just, just answer a, a provocation from the USSR. I don't know. Oh, yes, but it also creates threat. I mean, I, I assume the force will go from Nigeria. Besides, how else are you going to protect Central America? Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. OS and okay, OS into Cameroon and Panama. Nah, no, he, he I'll probably go with Voice of America. Yeah. Yes, he one, has... two, three. Let's oh, South okay. Korea? No, no, South Korea did not feel right. He goes for. He wanna go for control of Asia. I won again because I control Asia. So maybe that give him. Okay, yeah, he's allowing uh, the puppets. Yeah. So basically now puppet is basically one in Mexico, one in one in Indonesia. Maybe yeah, I don't know. There's not. No, that's oh, not he he go for the Somewhere. Africa spam. You know, he goes from like Nigeria. Uh, sorry, in Nicaragua maybe. <laughs> For the domination That's there. Something. Yeah, he can either go for deny Africa or help deny Africa domination, but then that that get cool out or get a strong domination in Central America. Either, or... Probably Central America should be the focus here because just spamming non battlegrounds in Africa doesn't matter that much yet. I mean Mexico obviously it's a battleground. Guatemala does seem reasonable. One Mexico, one. Oh, that Salvador. does not seem reasonable. Okay. Botswana. Okay. So he takes back South Korea and what? Oh, he. Nigeria. Okay. Oh, protect Nigeria makes sense. Yeah, or protect Nigeria does make a lot of sense. So he kind of get flipped. Um, okay, so AR7 for Thomas will be OAS, I assume. To Venezuela, because where else? He has Brush War and don't remember card number three. I'm guessing we're gonna see it right now. Okay, they're telling us Suez went to Guacmar after the call, so yeah. So you were right. Mm. I just didn't pay attention to what he threw there. My my bad. Well, we're not paid here, or not paid at all, but yeah. <laughs> we're not <laughs> virtually paid here to remember all the cards, although probably would have been the 
best. Yeah, if I was a, if I was a good player, I would remember every single car and every single AR that is used. But I'm just a mediocre player, so I live with that. Okay, so we have the AR7 of Hassan is gonna be the Muslim Revolution. All right, salty. Okay, he's so not for influence. Okay. Would have been a nice event, actually. Uh, Very what, nice. What would have gotten ABM maybe. Grain cells even. Okay, so completely expected a play on Muslim Revolution, ensuring that domination on Middle East. Oh, yes. Nice. Basically, no way that he gets uh, right now. Back, unless he has an insane amount of ops and has, doesn't have any. I don't know. No, Mr. Kennedy is still around. Middle East might be yeah, he not a problem. Guy. That's true. Still, nothing he can do about it. So maybe event into Venezuela just to create a threat. Plus, AR had to be either OS or Voice of America. Okay. Turn 7. Okay, nine, and the big reveal, the Kennedy scoring, oh, okay. and Hassan gets the jackpot. Yep. Yeah, Dico, Junta, both scoring, and Kennedy, okay, he did not get five-year plan, so he's going to pay up if for he gets, Asia. If he gets a good Dico, can he deny the domination? Is that even possible? No. He has a uh, no, no. <laughs> Two <No>. versus, okay, <laughs> seven. not no. sure I know the number yeah, that okay. high. Eight versus two. So, okay, he could actually steal Thailand. <laughs> yep, he could uh, steal Thailand. And get could be the process, of course. He that would, would risk losing uh, domination in the Middle East. Well, but Still? at this point, there is no surprise. So he knows that he has both scoring cards. Yeah, but Dickel and Hunta are surprising here. Not sure what Thomas could have gotten. He has I remember. Does he like want to protect the domination on South America and eat up the. He's probably going to get Brass War, isn't he? That's somewhat reasonable, yeah. What other good headline is still there that we haven't seen? Because if you are asking. It's Envy. All right. For, you know, I forgot about something. I always remember about it during the game in the headline phase, well, most of the time. But that's a big worry here. I mean. You can probably give us no, honestly. He has Will Bury You. He's oh, giving we'll up Will Bury You, yeah, bury you we'll unless bury he's headlining it. Uh, and what's annoying that. Even if he does headline will bury you, he gives up well candy, which is probably not an option, or shuttle diplomacy, which affects both scoring. Well but he, he, can, he can just take Egypt if he wants and shoot the domination anyway. Mm, yeah, okay. No, no 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 it doesn't it doesn't affect as long as he because he has okay, four, okay. he has three. So he can just score Middle East first and he'll be alright. Yeah, we'll bury us the headline and then use Mr. Envy. Giving up troops of diplomacy with Mr. Envy to Venezuela, one into Egypt, because he has domination there anyway. So, no reason to give up on Venezuela. And since that would alter the domination status. And yeah, that was obvious enough. Okay, so you get shadow diplomacy? Uh, definitely. Okay. Oh, it is rather annoying having to give up using Junta here. Or Dico. Or the schemes. Just eradicated and nullified. Okay, so you protect Venezuela. As well and Egypt. Because what else? Well, Egypt now is not flippable. Once he gets it, it's locked down because Sadat is gone, right? And also, yep. uh, what's the name? Cam Davis Accords. Exactly. And besides, maybe Thomas doesn't have a decent three up other than Brush War. Maybe he cannot just take Egypt. Okay, interestingly enough. Should Thomas use Brasher on Pakistan, <laughs> that actually leaves the Soviets without presence in Asia until shuttle diplomacy is resolved. Mm. 
Uh, if you hear crying in the background, yeah, that's my baby son. So <laughs> that's alright. He's not abused. He just did. mommy left him for ten seconds, up to twenty, do and you, he knows it. Do you have him playing uh, Tolly Struggle on the iPad? No, 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 he's in the other room. He's just really loud. Okay. I did try that, but did not go well for my concentration. Having a noisy baby on my lap during the game. Okay, so now three up into Egypt because what else? It's a battleground which is about to be scored. Now, basically, uh, colonial, colonial uh, decolonization is not going to do basically anything at this point because. He kind, of, he kind of flip. Um, he could just reinforce Africa if he wanted. Maybe try to create a little bit of a crisis there. You know, take all this. Try to flip all the small countries, but I don't think so. Not too much. So it's annoying having to play colonials, even if the cost falls right after that. He can just hold it, right? He can hold colonials and space as now, and that's it. Yeah, but you really, you really want Junta as your headline on turn 8. That's oh. possibly true as well, because that control of South America would be amazing to... Yeah. Okay, so he five for Egypt. Doesn't matter, like has one is one BB swing for... Plus one in the final scoring, so yeah, probably... BBs. Should dump Melis. Oh, okay. okay. A little Why? Bit of crisis there. Yeah, what? is it a crisis really? No, not really. Too I mean, on turn seven, you just resigned to some stuff. Yeah, Middle East scoring, Asia scoring, they just happen. Yep. The only way they can change is uh, in your opponent's favor, given that he has brush war. Brush war against Libya right now would have uh, made Emilius a draw. Or Pakistan. So probably... Even, even mm. if you're able... If you're Pakistan in... doesn't change very much. Okay, the nice uh, Soviet presence uh, with the Shadow Diplomacy active. No, what I'm saying but... is like, even if you were able to flip Pakistan... They're, sorry, Pakistan, Thailand, they're still brush war, right? That can go either Pakistan yeah. or Thailand, whatever is better. So I don't think you have, like you said, Asia, Asia domination is probably happening. I don't think Hassan can fight that there. Exactly. He should put his subs to good use on what else. Also, I gotta wonder about Kennedy. I mean, it could be just sent to space, but it's entirely possible. It's harmless. Right now, true. okay, there's Che in U.S. hand, and I don't know how many cards did he get back from the reshuffle, so there's merit in sending it to space. Actually, quite a big merit, considering Star Wars. Yeah. And lack of opportunities on the board. The board is pretty tight, locked up pretty well. <clears throat> yeah, the only thing that I could see, I don't know, maybe... Okay, look at your stops could be the game changer here, especially in Africa. And actually, that would be a very reasonable play from Thomas's right now. I... Th uh, okay. okay, what we'll see here, he Thomas? Okay, he okay. <laughs> just making very sure about Asia. <laughs> yeah, he's like, this is happening, okay? Like, you're not going to steal this, so forget about it. Okay, with China card and some massive ops behind it. And if Fruit Bradfall failed, fail, okay, maybe. So we're going to see realignment, a crazy realignment there? Not just that crazy, at plus one. Still so much better as a headline. Yeah, but... I mean, I mean, crazy because you have you have a uh, influence there, so it could back, it could uh, yeah. go against you. I don't like that. Yeah, and you pay for it. That's like that one. <laughs> okay, so uh, that's just like try that. Again. Now try again. Like, what do you what do you get to do? You get to lose anything? Oh, okay. actually, got some value. Yeah. From I mean, it. now he has to now he has to spend a three up if you want to take it. Well, what you will? Because why won't he? I mean, even using Brush War for it. All oh, right, we missed Bird Trap. 
shouldn't have missed bear trap. Also, why did not he hold it for AR7? I mean, with Soviets that high up in space, it's maybe not worth that much, but still. Okay, mm. he goes to space, successful. No, but Hassan is making Thomas a bit nervous, maybe, about Asia. Okay, here is Che, so now he could have hey, that's Ooh, Space 6 auto win. The power of this card. That's yep. very relevant. Okay. Gonna get a coup there. Okay, decent. Okay, yeah, none of them have any mid ups, so that kind of matters. Probably gonna uh, do. Okay. Thomas is uh, sorry. Han is holding on to colonials. Ouch. Yeah, I think he's gonna hold. Yeah, he's gonna hold to it next turn. Probably, hopefully, he can. He can just. Discard it. He can never no no way to unless you with you an intervention even bear trap is gone. Okay now Hassan probably should take care of his mid ups somehow. Either I brush or I don't, that's yeah, a decent hold card. I will go brush or, as well hundred percent. Just two BPs, fuck it. Without flower power always. Oh, you with, don't fuck two BPs. He's going for it. Look at that. Fuck hey, two fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> He's going for it. Yep, hundred. Oh, uh, he got it. You see, it's too much. It's too many VPs on the line to just you know chicken out because two VPs. Come on, what you're doing? That's not gonna change one iota in Asia. Yep. Well, he Maybe just now he's gonna have to overprotect Thailand instead of going for some. Uh, and hopefully he doesn't have a big op. I think that's what he's... He doesn't need a big op. Two ops take care of everything here. <laughs> I know. South Africa for some presence there, and Thailand. Just for future's sake. Yeah, he needs one for South Africa and one for Thailand, that's it. And Cameroon. Okay. Even Thailand is not that important, given that it will be scored right now. Unless maybe they did not have a reshuffle. I did not see how many cards are left in the discards or in the draw deck. So there's some tiny chance that there was hundred percent this... a reshuffle. Juntas already okay. played. All right, of course. Forgot about that. So yeah, they know. Uh, Thomas knows how one hundred percent that Asia scoring will be last play for Hassan. So. He can pretty much, well, he has free reign to action rounds of doing whatever the hell he wants. He has Milops taken care of. He could even just walk into Algeria right now if he has a proper card. Maybe he doesn't. Okay. And we will have a 9 VP lead for Thomas here. See, I wonder what's his last. Okay, he okay. goes for that BPs. Yeah, Not a bad that's right. I mean, four BPs and one extra BP. Yeah, pretty decent. Uh, did he discard anything? I didn't see it. Not sure if he had anything. Ooh la la. Yep. Okay. Okay. So he got he got one favor uh, score in Africa right now. He could actually score in for domination without presence. Or he could try to flip uh, South Africa and get control. Yeah, but headlines don't like the chains. Yeah. Eldritch That's why the hell not? Hand, and you can discard the most dangerous that he had. The problem yes, is unless it's defectors defected, so suddenly war games is not a problem here. And Ames discards whatever a problem uh, the problem could be. And a coup in. Panama, probably. <clears throat> then you score Africa for a lot. Yep. Car, okay. Okay, you don't coup, so that's wrinkle number one in the master okay. plan. Okay, so... Nothing worthwhile to discard. Huh. Maybe nuclear subs, so he doesn't... Yeah, you can go with ops, probably, here. Uh, also, North Sea Oil, I mean, he has OPEC, so 
But yeah, North Sea all doesn't have great value. Yeah, it does say family uh, Kelane, are maybe one but... card short. Yeah. Now that you're gonna discard a card, he doesn't have anything, right? So Yeah, so okay, nuclear saps. You know, but yeah. Africa will be scored here, but there's some merit in it as well. I think maybe nuclear saps just to prevent the Hell Mary flip, but that's about it. Or maybe nuclear test one just because it's the biggest op that he has. Yes, these are only choices, probably. Also, of note, is Latin American Debt Crisis, since it will have to be played for ops here with no uh, decent card. No discard, yeah. uh, I mean, discarding will cost an action round. He might yeah. want to do it anyway. Yeah, I think Latin, huh. Latin American Death Crisis is an important card here because of what you just what you noticed. Like he he's not gonna be able to discard a card unless you wanna lose a, a round. Yeah, but I don't think uh, Thomas so Hassan has access to Brazil and well, he won't do anything in Venezuela, so it might actually not matter. No, okay, he goes for the big uh, card. He's not as scared of the nuclear subs because he's probably gonna score yeah. Africa anyway. Right away, yes. No reason not to. He doesn't have probably the ops to fight for control here. Yep. So I mean, he uh, could, but other than Mustang Revolution, all his other cards are not high, and Pershing is best played for the event anyway. Same with Fidel, of course. He doesn't have any, very many ops here. He cannot challenge South Africa, so yeah, this card, the big guy. Or whatever you can. So there's there's absolutely no reason to de delay that. And then okay, then it gets weird because they don't have anywhere else to play actually. He could do another Muslim revolution against Egypt. He could ABPs. still fight for South Africa. It's ABPs. Like, even if you are successful in control, you're going to get uh, 10. If they don't have presence, but they will 100% get presence, right? Uh, 11. 10 11. with presence. And presence gives you 1, so right? So it's 10. Yeah. 10 with presence. So 10 against presence, yes. Yeah. But Hassan would not have won a war against South Africa. He has a handful of. But it also shows that probably Summit was better played uh, into South Africa instead of Thailand last turn. I mean, it would have left Thailand vulnerable, but also scored. Whereas for South Africa, it's a 2 VP difference. Okay, oh, yeah. And then goes, yeah, anyway. that's very reasonable. Okay, so I think now he has to create problems in South America. <sighs> Yeah, but everything is so overprotected. Yeah, that's true. What does he do there? He has How one. He... Okay, Europe. Europe goes okay. first. Okay, that's CC travel there to create, to force him to not coup in Africa. Yes, and Thomas would probably have to overprotect West Germany. Otherwise, Muslim Revolution is just shoved into West Germany. Yep, 100%. And he doesn't have very good ops to respond. North Sea Oil could... No, okay, North Sea Oil arms race, I recall. Yep. He Maybe Ryan Hosted Crisis, probably as well, yeah. He has two threes, and then he has a bunch of red cards. He has um, uh, okay, okay. Iron Contra okay. Scandal, the Dev Crisis, and Iran... Uh, the one that affects terrorists, I don't remember the name. Around Hosty Crisis? Yeah. So. Uh, I mean, he's playing everything for ops instead of. Uh, except for OPEC. That's obvious enough. Yeah. OPEC is 100% going to space. Hassan has to go to space as well, but he doesn't have anything. He doesn't have a 3 to space, unless you want to space Muslim. Okay, so he fixes that. We're gonna slam up 770 into France. He knows that he doesn't have operational cards except except for. Um, Arms race, still good, Arms but uh, that's a, that's a tempo move. 
yeah. still helps to prevent any yeah, action he, in Africa. He, he's forcing him to not to first not not play uh, nuclear subs. Second, forcing him to play those events without actually fixing them, using those events to uh, try to fix some problem that he's creating. I think he's doing the right thing. Yeah, definitely. I think Thomas Probably. was a little uh, uh, maybe. A, Overextended no, nuclear subs was a very understandable uh, choice because that's practically the only way to break status quo. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now he's making uh, Hassan to pay up, pay up for it, because Hassan is uh, overpaying to uh, skip the assault, break control this there uh, in, or in other way, sorry, in, or any other place. And the price of two ops that will be paid. Hmm. That's op number one in Panama. And probably the okay, the other one will be paid with Nothing Revolution. Then you have to cool, score, and event Fidel. Okay. Okay, so if he uses some just to <laughs> <laughs> But just look that just when Hassan blinked in the direction of Central America, Thomas is establishing a domination. <laughs> yeah, he hundred percent shows that he actually no, took the control course. there. I think he's he's scared of that getting that. I think he the only things he the only way he loses here is if maybe Defcon. I think it's uh, the game is tilting his way pretty strongly. Hmm. Probably. Like Middle East doesn't get that many points. Asia and Europe are very strong. Central America. Well, Middle East is scored. Europe and yeah, Central Africa are not. I'm making and scoring math. Space and in war games territory. Well, not exactly right now, but yeah, close enough. So Hassan saves himself for uh, for the moment with Africa. Okay, there it goes. He's Sair. Yeah, but it seems that dumping nuclear subs was probably a better choice here instead of nuclear test ban. And nuclear test ban would not have changed much, much, but nuclear subs will just steal Africa. Okay, so Fidel gets him the gets. Yeah, him that in gets Cuba. ignored. Not a problem. Yeah. Just another coup in Africa. That's why the hell not. We can deal, yeah, deal with Fidel later. Oh, no, okay. We're spacing OPEC? No. Okay. Yeah. He still, has, he still has Iran. And by Iran probably want to... Uh, I don't think he wants to play that, but I don't know. He probably have to. Yeah. Okay, so he's going there. He's going to go where? Good. Ooh, no. What's wrong? Stability with that two up? Come on, man. I mean, he has to cook something. Okay. okay, I blinked and missed it. What did he do? He goes for <laughs> he Cameroon. somewhere. Cameroon. So now yeah, he's threatening threaten realignment on Sair. Oh, right. He stole Cameroon. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so now and the Iran coup in the Angola. And it works. Oh, that yeah. hurts. That hurts a lot. Actually. There might not be a way for USA to lose this game. Okay, so he knows that anymore. the only car left is a two-up, so he's going to slam the, in France and make sure that he can oh. take it next day. Oh, you counted cards for oh, for God. All oh, right, the um, realignment thing. Yeah, it's, it's Iran. The card that is left is Iran Contra. Yeah. Probably he should have used for a coup earlier since there's no... No good uh, realignment targets for the Soviets. Everything would be at zero, Panama and Zaire, assuming the coup would work in Angola, of course. Okay, so here is ah. Europe scoring. Yeah, so good planning by Hassan. Southern Very good. could give him OPEC if he wants it. Uh, That's for VP, yeah. Not exactly the game changer he needs. Yeah, if he have Venezuela, so this would be a no-brainer by BB. Okay, in the Pakistani world, that's huge. Yeah, that's huge because if he gets a draw in Asia and manages to defend or at least dump Europe for free right now, he could dump Europe for free, or he could go, he could go for France this time. He could try to get it back. I don't know if he has the ops. 
because it depends on what Thomas has in hand. But yeah, these ops are not that great. And there are there are dangerous events like a third on this wall. Exactly. So it's, uh, only card that you just want to play for ops is Cuban Missile Crisis. Iron Lady is problematic since it frees up uh, socialist governments. AWACS also a bit of a problem in the Middle East. It's all to probably want to event. <sighs> he has a high up a hand, but a little bit problematic. Like the Iron Lady and AWACS kind of hurts. Yeah. It's not a really high up. It's Okay, it's average. He has four twos, four threes, and a scoring. That's average. Yep. Okay, I would probably just dump the scoring in the headline right okay. now. Red scare. And yeah, no more high up hand. I don't know. I don't know why it's on Thomas' hand, but having on two nine, I will hold it for two for two ten. But I don't know. I don't know what else is in his hand, so I cannot really say that it's wrong. Yeah. Okay, so now he's just relegated to cool Zaire. Since he cannot reliably hope for a Pietrak in Panama. Does he? It? No, come on. You know you're not Wojciech. I, I will go for I will go for Zaire. Yeah. Get back to domination it's about the Africa. domination in Africa it matters. A hundred percent. And even be be and before Panama, I would do Mexico. There's more points. Also, more chance to get realigned. That's true. More risky, but you have El Salvador there, so you can just uh, you can basically you can, I think. You Ooh, can yeah. Here are the ones, so it didn't really matter what he chose. Well, he would have kicked him out of Sair with a. No, no, no. He's perched. Uh, oh yeah, okay. okay, one, yeah, so you would just remove a one, not even kick him out, out of there. Yeah, that might just be the game here. I mean, Europe helped, but Perch, ineffective coup. Okay, Indo-Pakistan will not even, I think, change very much, especially if Thomas has Central America. Okay, he goes for uh, Yeah, he gets rid of that first. Makes sense. Hey, rolls a five. Almost mattered. Little too late. <laughs> yeah. That might just have been the wasted Indo Pakistani war roll. I think yeah, I mean right now it's it's more beneficial for him to actually play the band. So maybe maybe suddenly goes well, but yeah, racing the DEF CON when you have the military ops he doesn't um, he will get it, so that's not really it. a problem. Well, you play the salt here and try to get. Okay, he's going for it. Okay, let's oh, go. Oh, that. No. Oh, yeah. Uh, that Costa Rica roll. That yeah. should have been in India. Uh, Thomas was clever. Yeah. Made sure the roll is wasted there. <laughs> he he made sure that the rolls happen in the right time, the right timing. Oh yeah. So the <clears throat> game is like leaving. The hands of Hassan. Like I don't think he 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 claw back into the game for a little bit, but it's starting to look very very blue. Uh, oh yeah, I mean he could even afford to space glass now. Yeah, Thomas doesn't even that's, he doesn't that's miss a me. single space shot. Unbelievable. <laughs> Okay, uh, so not only that, but Glassnos is usually played for the event uh, with USA. Can you pay attack. to to get a battleground coup? He just spaced it. I mean, probably very reasonable, but yeah, it's still. It's basically an AVM for 2 VP. So. It's just like Muhammad Ali dropping his guards, dancing yeah. before his opponent. Just, Come on, there's nothing, nothing you can do to me. Yeah. He's dancing around Hassan right now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, this has been a long game. We've been here for two hours already. That's mostly Thomas taking his time. Yeah, he's two, well, 12 minutes behind the clock. But I mean, uh, it's this is uh, Thomas is like has more into the more skin in the game because Hassan is already one zero, good. so he has another another shot. But Thomas, this is the last chance, right? 
Yeah, so Thomas always played uh, a bit on the slower side. When the time limit was the hour, an hour on Wargame Room, he did take the 15, 59 minutes or something like that. Hmm. That's just like me. I take forever too. <laughs> Hard to think too many things. Oh, okay. he's just playing it for the event? No, that just prolonging the agony. Okay, probably just going for a coup in Nigeria would not have mattered. All right, and he doesn't have any other coup targets of one step and under salt. Probably doesn't matter that much. He's so that might have been a clever way to live for a while longer. Okay, Thomas should probably queue Saharan states here. Yeah, to get the access to Nigeria for Thomas to play into it. <laughs> Also play into Ni Nicaragua plus okay something like breaking Niger Algeria maybe hmm. just to create two threats overload your opponent. I mean it could be responded by taking Haiti and uh, repairing uh, Algeria, but now it's mostly about just creating some threats. Yep. Although overprotecting France might matter as well. I mean reformer still around. Yeah. Social governments as well. Although that will not but be the, the effective soon. He, he's below he's behind on the scoring, so the reform rate won't be as devastating as it normally is. True. Okay, yeah, for the final the... scoring, yeah, Europe, Asia, Central America. Yeah, that's unwinnable. I mean, even with reverse luck, um, turn 9 would probably be a loss, but still. Hmm. If he gets a hold of Mexico and he's able to dominate there, but he needs Junta for that, right? Or get a big coup of yeah. the Chan headline. Combination... Okay, that was also one mistake by Hassan later in the game to have wasted Junta like that. I mean, it was a gamble may be reasonable but it would have been so much nicer to just keep the card for the headline <coughs> probably israel no okay oh well, why not egypt i mean muslim version is gone so egypt is cheaper okay. and going for a coup in egypt no okay didn't like that yeah we said basically our minus one so yeah Okay. Very in effect. So he's gonna trade uh, Egypt for Saudi Arabia. Hmm. <laughs> he has to take Egypt, and well, what can he do to do it? To sorry, what can he use to do it? Iron Lady. Iron Lady should be played a bit later, probably, in case Thomas has the swords go. Yeah, yeah. Can be fight. I just take control of Egypt. Uh, that's a one. Under purge. Oh, oh well, yeah. Um, did he just notice it, or just going for one? But Muslim Revolution is gone, so that doesn't matter very much. Muslim Revolution was turn seven. Mm, something like that. Yeah, I think so. So then Muslim Revolution is not coming back anyway. It's a bit like watching a guy taking his time, reloading his Kalashnikov just to kill a fallen deer. Yeah. It's already dying, just begging for the mercy kill, but no. Yeah. He just I mean... reload, reloading and shooting all around it instead of straight in the heart. Uh, Hassan is a very powerful deer. He's trying to stay up, uh, you know? He's trying to stay up, try to, try to oh, get up. Name of the maybe buck? Uh, is it maybe? Uh, so a uh, mighty buck has yep. fallen. But yeah, you're right. At this point, it's the or a stack. Uh, <laughs> yeah, big stack. Just Google it. Like right now, uh, Thomas is dominating four different regions. Hassan is only dominating one, and he's, Thomas yeah. is ahead of the on the scoring. Like I, even if he's able to uh, flip Central America, that gives a lot of BPs for for the USSR and it's only one country that he has to flip. Even with that, he's still yeah, the game is decided already. Yeah. He had to flip both Africa and Central America just to have a fighting chance. 
because the USA is going to get the last AR of the game. And oh, come on, he's over just overprotecting stuff? Yeah. He's oh, he playing methodically. He's just making sure okay, that there's yeah. nothing that Hassan can do. <laughs> okay, and so after that. he loaded his gun, he just reloaded again to make sure that <laughs> yeah, every bullet is good, uh, not defective or anything. Yeah. While the poor deer, poor stag, <laughs> is bleeding just out. Just there on the ground, <laughs> waiting for it to be over. Maybe Hassan okay. is counting on a on a time victory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, it's turn nine, almost over. So, unless there's a storm which kills his internet connection, I mean Thomas's, so not really. And even even that, I probably think that they would. I, I think Hassan would just give it up <laughs> <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Okay. So he has to play Tehran because he has to hold Colonial, right? Probably. Africa actually matters a little bit here. Yeah. Africa. Africa Wait, nothing matter. really matters, but if you're going for the lowest loss in the final scoring. Yep. You on need the Central America and Africa to, to go your way if you want to have any chance of winning in the final scoring. Well, um, winning is out of picture here. Yeah, Europe. Europe is how many points right now? Six and eight. Five. Uh, no, Europe is five, Asia uh, four to so six. Uh, no, not Korea is taken, so seven. So that's twelve. Uh, Central America, that's how many? Two, two, I think. Africa even is dominated by the USA right now. That might not last, but still. Okay, so that's some justification for his overprotecting of Central America. Hmm. He has liberation theology, so yeah, makes more sense that way. Those two would have been enough to just overprotect one battleground. Okay, now a coup in Haiti. Just to get things going against Cuba, test your luck, or maybe coup in Saharan states. Yeah, that's probably Saharan better. Saharan states better. Give yeah, it gives you access Nigeria. to Nigeria. And uh, chances against Algeria. Okay. Fails to And you're also one, so <laughs> doesn't really matter. All right, because uh, we have salt. salt active here. Yep. It's a bad move to to coup with low of oh. card when you have, you're have on the salt. But I mean, he could have one stop, yeah. so. It's a one stop. Not the deal. worst. Okay. So that's okay. So work can try the Hail Mary in Panama. I mean, that now, did not work. I would just do it now. Like, what did you, what do you get to lose now? Venezuela, yeah, okay, that was <laughs> <laughs> just know. admitting, yeah, I'm dead. I mean, I did see these zero modifier realignments work against okay. and, such and target, that. but still, oh. But that should have been a war. Okay. Ah, maybe he has. I. Maybe he has the Central America scoring. No, it's a turnover. So okay. likely he doesn't. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. Otherwise, he would have lost <laughs> right now. Hmm. That's, okay. a, that, that's a weird and... AR seven, but okay. Yeah, Hassan been holding to this all this problematic stuff, and damn. <laughs> okay, he has one card to headline. Yeah. You actually get a headline a card that is not so defeating. Yeah. And actually worthwhile. It could get him Europe. Yeah, maybe he can do an intervention Voice of America. I don't know. Okay, mm he how oh, many Usuri. cards maybe here are real Usuri's problems? Better. Usuri and voice. He will play the China card. So he gets to hold two. So yeah, so maybe okay, UN intervention means he gets to hold one, which will be ouch. Star Wars. So what that's what get? grain sales. I was got grain sales. Okay, oh or purge. Yeah, purge, purge would do again. just oh, yeah. fine that here. Would... It would also protect uh, France from takeover. Let's see. Yeah, just send the message of a general screw you to the opponent. 
Like you get in person nine and you get in person ten. How do you like it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How do you like the apples? Yeah. He's definitely like kicking the the fallen tree, you know? Oh yeah. Well, the th good thing is Hassan can take control of Middle East right now. If he w he's not Perch, <laughs> he's Perch is not gonna have the offs. Yeah, so you hold Voice of America, intervene Usuri, play everything else, I guess. Well, he could. I mean, I I take that Thomas might have Chernobyl, so he can probably play Chernobyl and say, okay, you're not playing ops here. No, that would be a waste. I mean, he cannot control Europe. Uh, you mean Middle East? No, can never be controlled here against the Purge. Yeah, I would go with the Purge. Grain cells against other headline maybe, but that, now grain cells would cost Europe. I'm like, I don't like that. Besides, yeah. there's no great coup target. Sorry, oh, sorry, it's his. Yeah, there's no... Yeah, <laughs> that's kind of relevant. Algeria is probably the best, but still might not affect... Oh, yeah, he goes with that's the Purge. Cool. The good old McCarthy there. On the picture. Mm. So yeah, Hassan. He says, yeah, he's he ugly was now. brave, but now it's I guess time for us to write his eulogy. Yeah. Tell um, us how he, much we treasured him. He was a, a terrific guy. We enjoy his, we his games him. very much. We will miss him a lot. <laughs> he's yeah, He'll be back. <laughs> yeah, we, I guess three. we'll next week and we'll have another one. Okay, so my train was first late. Today it was early. Let's see what <laughs> happens next week when I'm <laughs> doing the same trip again, again. Okay, so Evil Empire is gone. Uh, sorry. Um, uh, flower power. And it worked. Whoa. Amazing. That's rare. We'll probably still get stolen right now. He will get flipped immediately. It's too, sure. too dangerous to give that. Yeah. Africa domination depends on it, so. He could use a China card to flip it back, but. Yeah, that's one time deal. He just flips it back again and yep. asks, now what? <laughs> yep. And also kind of sad that he had to use Evil Empire, although maybe there aren't any war cards left. Brush, IP, uh, Iran, Iraq, Arab, Israeli, that's all gone or inactive. Korean War might be too. Yeah. What is he doing? Okay. No. He takes uh, okay, I guess that he has I mean, uh, Central America scoring, but still. Hmm, yeah, I think, oof, but that's gonna get cool. Oh, yeah, but still. Strongest card, okay. Other than China and the mighty intervened Usuri. Yeah. A bit of a reminder of turn one. Although this hand is very much superior to the turn one hand. I mean, it has some two ups. Yeah. Okay, so he gets a chance now to get a mighty coup with a two up. Iron Lady or Usuri? Surely he's saving the China card for a bigger fish. And then he'll have to play what? Colonials? Actually, he might intervene in Colonials and play Usuri. Since. He... Okay, but yeah. then he would lose presence in Asia. Oh, oh man. Come on, what's playing this for ops? Okay. Wow. Okay. He does, he does he wanna, he wanna hold two cards? Yeah. No, but. Okay. Okay, he gets to hold a voice and something. Yeah, probably makes sense. Yeah, voice and colonial, so because colonial is four up, right? So he cannot he cannot defend that, probably. Mm. Okay, he's going for Dominican Republic now, and that's done deal. That domination is happening, bro. Oh, the Mary Cool. Oh no, 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 no. no. Not enough. Okay. Okay. If Central America scoring war games. That will be. Yep. Probably a fitting end here. Yep. yep. Central America scoring. Very, Number one. Very nicely played by by Thomas. 
like very methodical this game okay some consolation prize yeah in africa I think how africa looks in red and and I think he has, he has to cool Nicaragua on his Oh arm, yeah, right? he's taking his time again. Yeah. Just aiming carefully at the stag's head, <laughs> saying goodbye. Oh, okay, <laughs> that is. It.